free VPNs. Do any of them still work on Netflix? Now you see me? Now you don't. <laughs> Am I in Los Angeles, California, or Manchester, England? You see, when you're online, you can never tell for sure. And, well, neither can Netflix. That's right. I am no longer bound to their perception of where I am. Now, naturally, you may have two questions. How and why? Well, let's start with the how. Well, I did it with a VPN or a virtual private network. And not just any VPN, mind you, a free VPN. And in this video, you'll learn everything you need to know about why you need a VPN for Netflix, what to look for in a VPN for Netflix, and our top picks for free VPNs for, yes, Netflix. And if you don't know what a VPN is, well, a VPN masks your private network connection data, changes through process called encryption, and resumes the connection with the changed data. So, why do you need a VPN for Netflix? Well, in 2016, Netflix expanded into 130 new regions and vowed to put stringent measures in place to prevent users from streaming Netflix content via a VPN. And this is because major media companies, well, they've got agreements with streaming services in different regions regarding how they use television and movies. So, let's say Netflix wanted to stream an American TV show in Europe, but, well, Max owned the rights to streaming this content in that area. Well, it would violate its media agreements and likely receive a massive fine. Uh, also, quick pause, why Max? Uh, well, everyone knows HBO, right? <laughs> Nobody knows Max. I mean, I might as well have a 24-hour stream of me repeatedly brushing my teeth called Josh. It'll cost $12.99 a month. Now, since Netflix's vow against VPNs, it's been a continuous cat and mouse game between VPN providers and Netflix. So, because Netflix makes it hard, well, you don't often get free VPNs that offer streaming protection. Instead, most of the time, you get, yeah, paid VPNs. So why are most Netflix VPNs paid? Well, because streaming takes a lot of bandwidth. You see, Bandwidth refers to the volume of continuous data. For example, your internet service provider might have bandwidth limits telling you how much you can use, which sucks. But VPNs struggle from the same issue. So they reserve this data intensive feature for paying customers. These paid servers tend to be faster and more stable. In many cases, you'll find high capacity VPN servers specifically built for streaming. These are similar to those who use VPNs for torrenting, which is also a paid feature. Another important paid feature that you should look for in Netflix VPNs is obfuscation. Now, obfuscation is when your VPN takes your data, it scrambles it up, and transforms it into a more believable form. And this is because Netflix has gotten pretty good at identifying VPNs, especially if they're free. With obfuscation, you won't find that feature available for free. But when it comes to fast VPNs, we've got a list for your consideration. Of course, if you do want a paid VPN, our belief is that you shouldn't have to pay much. And this is why we often recommend Surfshark, which costs barely above $2 per month if you use our special link in the description. If you'd like to keep your money anyway, you know, well, we don't blame you. Look, we also have a list of five free VPNs that you can use for Netflix. And here are our list of the top five free Netflix VPNs. Now, while you don't have to pay anything, we'd like to request that you offer a free will donation. One like for the video. <laughs> if we get 2,000 likes, well, nothing's going to happen. But you know what? I'll feel really good. The first on our list is Privado VPN. And while it might discourage you from using its free plan by repeatedly telling you to subscribe, it actually does work on Netflix. This VPN offers free service from 10 countries and a pretty straightforward app. This VPN, it lets you unlock Netflix on your desktop and mobile phone, and you can unlock the American Netflix library on Mac, Windows, Android, or iOS. It is the only VPN on our list that allows you to stream Netflix on your desktop. It supports all trusted encryption types, including OpenVPN, Ike V2 on iOS and Mac, and WireGuard. You can choose an encryption protocol focusing on speed, like WireGuard, or stability, like OpenVPN. Bravado will work with UK and US Netflix, two major Netflix libraries. And this allows you to stream renowned geoblock TV shows like Power in the UK and Breaking Bad in the US. Now, we can't recommend this VPN to search how to cook meth though, uh, mainly because <clears throat> it's illegal and will likely melt your brain and your face away. However, on the downside, your streaming data is limited to 10 gigs a month, which isn't a lot if you like streaming movies and TV shows. 
According to Netflix, high definition television takes up to three gigs per hour, meaning that you'll run out just after the three hour mark. Thankfully, Netflix does allow you to control the quality of streaming video, giving you up to 30 hours of content if you use it carefully. So what do you plan on using Bravado for? Share your favorite Netflix series in the comments below and maybe you can introduce someone to, to a show that they've never heard of. But next on our list is Windscribe. It wasn't until recently that it became possible to unblock Netflix with this free VPN. Previously, you could only enjoy this on the Windflix servers of the VPN, which were reserved for paying customers. This VPN helps you to unblock several Netflix libraries and pair it with all major devices. Currently, you can change your Netflix region at will using any of these free locations. With one account, you can have unlimited connections, but if you use all of those, well, you're gonna run out of that 10 gigs of free data within minutes. You also know it's secure, as it relies on a trusted VPN protocol, OpenVPN. It also uses AES-256 encryption, which is considered military-grade encryption. Another great bonus is that Winscribe's free account has an ad-blocking software and a free proxy. But you'll find out one thing about this free VPN. It's a bit slow, especially when using the free proxy. What a shame. Damn, what a shame. Winscribe's paid version can get expensive compared to Surfshark, a competing VPN. It has an unusual feature where you can pick three locations for a dollar, giving you 10 gigabytes each. But Surfshark is a bit faster. It is cheaper and offers unlimited data. So, hey, look, we recommend you stick with them if you want a premium provider. Go and check out a huge discount for them in our video description. And number three, we have TunnelBear. That's a cute name. And while it is technically a free VPN that works with Netflix, you'll find that the other two on our list are typically better. And that's disappointing, because seeing a bear tunnel between continents is hilarious. <laughs> and well, each time you go to a new location, he's dressed in the local attire. It is just, it's adorable. Unlike seeing a man with a bear head. Well, that's less adorable, each to their own. The interface is fine, but because of its emphasis on tunnels, you might find yourself guessing at which location you end up going to. Thankfully, you can solve that problem by switching to a drop-down interface. Sans spares. So why wouldn't you want this adorable bear-themed VPN, even though it has way more free areas available than the other platforms? Two reasons. First, it only gives you two gigs of free data per month. This means that you'll get very little time watching Netflix. Even so, you will spend some of your first month's data finding a location that works. So it doesn't work everywhere. And we found failures in France, Great Britain, Belgium, and Japan. But hey, it does work in Finland, giving you access to at least one library. But Japan also doesn't work with other VPNs in our tests, which might indicate that Netflix has segmented those accounts. Let us know if you've had any problems connecting to Netflix Japan in the comments. With that being said, Unless you love a library that isn't included on the VPNs we've mentioned before, we cannot recommend TunnelBear. But don't be sad, little guy. Your paid version is, uh, well, it's, it's just all right. Look, if you're willing to pay for a VPN, you might also consider NordVPN, known for its incredible speed, amazing extra secure features like Tor over VPN, and a reasonable cost, which you can find discounts for in our video description. So. Now that you know about three free VPNs that do work, what VPNs don't work with Netflix? Well, let's start with a surprising one. A short list of free VPNs that don't work on Netflix. Proton VPN. It's a great set of privacy tools and it's one of the few VPNs that offers unlimited free data. But before you start frothing at the mouth for free unlimited secure data, it doesn't work. A Proton VPN has two free servers in Japan and the Netherlands. Now, while Netflix recognized our location as obscured, it just didn't let us log into our account. Next, Bitdefender VPN. It might work for all of 12 seconds, but the 200 megabytes of data isn't enough to watch anything with, so don't bother downloading this one. And look, we don't typically recommend antivirus softwares for their VPNs anyway, but you can learn more about Bitdefender if you want an antivirus in this video right here. VPN Hub advertises itself as free, but this is misleading. The free version is only available for the first seven days if you set up for the most expensive plan. In that case, you'll have to return to cancel it after six sweet days of unlimited video content. 
No, 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 it's not what you're thinking. No, no, we mean Netflix, not the other thing that will uh, cause YouTube to strike us down. <clears throat> so, now that we've covered a few free VPNs that work with Netflix, well, how do you get started? Well, all you need to do is log into the app, select the location of the Netflix library you wish to view, and then activate the VPN. Head to Netflix and log in as normal. You should be ready. If the VPN doesn't work, you might need to try a new location. Typically, you'll find a drop down menu to switch between those locations. If it still doesn't work, Netflix might be relying on your browsing data to determine your locations. So you can clear your browsing data by going to the privacy settings under your settings screen. The video you're seeing is on Brave, a Chrome based privacy browser, but it's similar to how most other browsers operate. Regardless of how great it is not to pay for things, there is no guarantee that these free platforms will continue to work. Also, if you like high quality videos, you'll probably want to upgrade to a paid VPN. Our recommendation again is to use Surfshark, which offers unlimited connections, no bandwidth restrictions, and the ability to be installed on all major platforms. And this means that you can watch Netflix without limits. For other reviews and guides on premium VPNs, I recommend you hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon to get notifications. Oh, speaking of reviews, if you want to see our recommendations for the best VPN, go and check out our best of list. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.